Talking about money and all kinds of good stuff here. I don't know. I'll let y'all start the conversation. No, you go for it. I don't want to say because you were saying about money. Oh, about well, money. Well, money first of all was designed for one thing, and that truly was to steal our energy, steal energy, and drain nations right. of their of what? their true wealth. Because see, no nation, no nobody on the planet. No China, none of this can pay off their debt. Right. Mm -mm. Because the interest for one was never printed. Right. You can't pay what wasn't there. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to pay back with cash, we borrowed cash. Yeah. Can't. But 98, let's be real, no, 99. Our gold was in the Federal Reserve, but wasn't the American people's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I remember back in the 70s when. Uh, Hillary Clinton, I think it was. A bunch of other people, they walked into the federal, uh, the, uh, ah, hell. Well, they Fort printed Knox. money. Fort oh. Knox, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah of course. Uh, yeah, Fort Knox. <laughs> and they showed a room full of money. But me and Dad were sitting there talking, and we said, I bet you anything, there ain't nothing behind that. You know, we're, it's nothing but goals right there at the door. And I said, I bet you there ain't nothing behind that damn gold there. No gold whatsoever. And they're saying that that room was full of gold. I'm bullshit. I mean, if it was, it wasn't the people's gold. No. No. That, and, pe and that was a known fact. Just yeah. a fact. It's in the Federal Reserve, but not the American people's. Yeah. Silver's done been taken. I mean, let's be real. It's, yeah, you go buy it, but that's, you do, they're allowing you to have what... They want but, you to have. Yeah, but it's not, it's, it's not pure. It's not pure. Even though well, you'll find industry. you'll come closer to finding more pure nickel than or not nickel uh, silver than you will gold. Yeah. yeah, and and they still control that too. Oh, yeah. It's theirs. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're supposed to be saving all the pennies for something. All the old pennies. Well, they had a little bit more. Well, they had a little more copper in them. But they didn't have a lot of copper in them. Yeah. Uh, I. They might have made copper pennies every once in a while, but most copper, most pennies are made of zinc. Yeah, with copper right. on yeah. top of it. Yeah, plated. Yeah, I think yeah. like what I don't know. It seemed like for when they first started printing, just for a little while, they actually was copper. Yeah, but there is some copper pennies, and every once in a while they would print them. Every ever so often they would print them in they, a year. They said the best way to keep up with our copper that we want to get and and, and take back and take back them was put them in the pennies and all. And then they found out the people kept on throwing them away in the garbage. And they're like, "Well, we gotta stop this. This can't happen. We need because them nobody cares about pennies. Well, a lot of times, I mean, back when you know, think about this: when money first came out, the people a, a little bit of money was a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, if you had three or four dollars, you could live a week on it. And a man didn't work a 40 hour week. No, he didn't. No. Well, most of them, they worked more than 40 at home. Work back in 1933. According to CNN, soon after, in 1933, newly elected President Franklin Delano Roosevelt signed into law the National Industrial Recovery Act under which employers entered into voluntary agreements to institute 35 to 40 hour work weeks and pay a minimum wage of $12 to $15 a week. Yeah, that, but they was at their home work. See, they couldn't just do it like they wanted. That was the slow progression of dividing the home, the community, the world. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, there first they had to break down the, the home. When did women have to start working? According to Quora, during WW2 women had to work in factories and other jobs to support the war. There were even female pilots who flew aircraft from the factories to the airfields. After the war there was an effort to get women out of the workplace and back in the home, because men returning from the war needed jobs. Well yeah, see, people and still care why, about them. If you think about this, the families of black people were more closer knit families than mm -hmm. most white families. Yep. But most of them just came out of slavery a few generations back. You know what I mean? When was slavery freed? According to National Archives, passed by Congress on January 31, 1865, 
and ratified on December 6, 1865, the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in the United States. I mean, but they were tight yeah, they were close. Mm -hmm. And that's why they worked so hard to split up, to the, black, split up the, the, the black community. And, it, and, and they did it. They, they done For a it. moment. Tupac, yeah. and there's, there's Tupac, there's Snoop, there's many, many of them that's kept the community. Yeah, there's like, the, yeah, sorry. Huh? I thought he was getting ready to say something, I thought I interrupted him. No, oh. I said a lot of them. There's a lot of black men out there that talk about families. But if they really talk hard about it, they get ostracized. They're either took away, that nobody can hear them speak anymore. That's why they shut Tupac up. Oh, hell yeah. But see, Tupac was more than about not just bringing the families together, but bringing the people together. People. He yeah. was not color oriented. Whatsoever. He, he was human oriented. A lot of black people talk about Tupac was more friendlier toward white people and they didn't like it. Well, let's be honest. The white people, we see the worst of the white people because we know more white people. Mm -hmm. Well, he saw the worst of black people. Yep. Probably okay. so. Not, I mean, it is the facts that when you, when you, you know your own race, way more than you know the other race because the only interactions you really have with the other race is your friends. See, that's what I'm trying to get to this point. We only have one race yeah, in the whole world. One race. The human race. race. It was called the human race. Why have we split it up into categories? Yeah, we shouldn't have had them. We shouldn't have ever split it into categories. It was the human race. And that's why, I mean, and, and, and I don't mean this in any derogatory way, but in a way of hope that people will hear, but Jehovah is not God. I he divides people and tears them down and threatens them. That's not a creator that divinely is created. You see, we know if you if you pay attention and you read the Bible and listen to what the Bible has to say to you, because it will speak to yes. you, you will find there's not just one God in the Bible. No, there's uh, many. There's actually many, you're right. Now you take Jesus and try to put him under Jehovah, but they're not even in the same league. No, he, and not never one time did he ever say Jehovah was his father. Uh, he just said, my father. He always that called him my father. father. That's right. He never Our one father. time called Jehovah his father. Mm -mm. And if you look, you're right, Jehovah... It was Jehovah that demanded that the cities be destroyed. It was Jehovah that demanded that the animals be sacrificed. If there and ever was a devil, Jehovah would be it. Yeah, because God, uh, and somewhere it says that I never asked yeah, for he sacrifice. Says, I, I never asked for your sacrifices. Yeah, I never, I've never gloried in your sacrifices. Yeah. <laughs> and your feast Gather days, my yeah. soul loweth. Yeah, your feast days, my soul loweth. In other words, I despise them. I have nothing to do with them. Don't think I'm in your feast days. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't count days and years and have special moments. The Creator, I mean, no. and that's what kills me as humans. Well, no, He does have special times. That's like the uh, Feast of Tabernacle. And or is that Jehovah? Uh, no, I think it's God because he says keep the Sabbath day and keep it holy. But, All right. And then when you go, you got one that you have to make hats and live in a hut, but don't live in the house. you got to get rid of all the yeast in your house. Anything that... Uh, unless they don't live in bread. Yeah. yeah. Well, stuff like that I can see being yeah, true that, God because that would probably cleanse your body. Yeah. It probably would. <laughs> Especially, I mean, back in they wouldn't be putting a lot of uncleansing in their body, okay. maybe just the yeast and stuff like that. But now look what we do. Well, now well, it's like it's Jesus bad. said, though, it's not that which goes into the man, the mouth that defiles him. It's cut, it's like yeah. Out murder, perversions. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Donald Trump's. Donald Trump. I don't know who's gonna say I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Trump's well, true. Hey, look, I never, I didn't vote for it. No, no, I know, no, I know nobody here would. Well, well, I don't vote for nobody. Hell no. Cause I think we should be governed by God Almighty, which exactly. is from the heart within. God but, governs from the human within. I will but, write my commandments on your heart, says the Lord. Yeah, but now just about everybody's done got the hot iron stuck to them. Because and they, don't they handed it. their power. I understand that now. I used to, God, okay. I know. 
They did. It's not their fault. It's really not. And that's why God's going to have mercy on the people. I understand now, even though uh, they pissed me off. Yeah, they do. But I understand His mercy now. But, you know, even with all the hate you see, there's still that love in places. Like when we went to Sherry's today to eat. Yeah. You know, people come up and said hey to us, everybody down there almost. And Sherry didn't even come up. And then when I went to her and was talking to her, she couldn't recognize me. She didn't recognize me. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> so I said, you don't recognize me, do Sherry? And she looked at me. She said, I'm sorry, I don't. I said, yeah, I know. I said, I'm Timmy's dad. I said, I'm Ricky. Ricky Brown. Oh, oh, God, I'd never recognize you. <laughs> it's that beard. <laughs> and then her sister's working down there, too. Brenda and Linda. Oh, is that, which one is that? Uh, 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 Sharon's sister. Uh, Linda, Linda and Brenda both are. Well, this this is the one that just had the stroke and she's... Brenda. Oh, I thought I recognized her. No wonder she's there. See, okay. I See, I couldn't remember where, how I knowed all them. <laughs> well, I do remember that Sharon and Eddie I know because of your mom. 